Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to episode three. My sincere apologies for the delay on this one, but life has got really busy lately, just with full-time work and also playing in a band and health issues as well, for the whole nine yards, basically. So sorry for the delay, but we'll get into it pretty soon. But yeah, very happy with our progress. We haven't really lost a game this year as yet, so hopefully that form can continue. So looking at the lineup for the Whaler Wanderers game, we've got Bannerman back at captain in the right back position there. Interesting to see Baron Auskas on the bench. And it's Goldschmeckel up the back, putting it forward there. Looking for Doff. Pierced off that is. And Wilkins has the ball, puts it past the keeper. 1-0 in the 20th minute. Excellent goal. Whaler Wanderers on the attack there and pushing forward. And it is Klimek. He puts it over the top there. Great goal there. 63rd minute. And they have equalised at 1-1. Bannerman pushing it forward there. It's defended quite well there. But Shen has actually got the clearance there. So Eric Shen standing tall. Pushes the ball in. And there's Pierce Lock with the goal. 2-1. And that was how that game completed there. So... Good win 2-1, unfortunately Adelaide River still not getting a win there and they are second to last there, so a bit disappointing for them and uh, Port Darwin and Mars Bar Sugar still keeping up their form. As we prepare to take on Enfield City now, we've got Gollum Saggers coming into the side as well as Giorgio who's back replacing the club captain Barry Bannerman and also it is the boy that can't be named wearing the armband today and it is Shen now running down the right hand side putting a great ball left through for Wilkins, Wilkins crosses it in and Pierstock gets his 19th goal of the season, excellent job, 1-0 and it's Enfield on the attack there, they're going to try and equalise here and it is Peter Watson with the goal, a really good way for them to hit back, 1-1 and it's Shen with the ball there and Wilkins puts the ball through there. There is Saggers and putting at the ball through for Pierstoff who gets his second goal of the game. It's 2-1 after 21 minutes. Going from the back again. There is Boy pushing it across there to Saggers. Saggers holding the ball up nicely, putting it further out to Fart. Fart's holding it up, crossing it in and Wilkins gets the goal. It's 3-1. 24 minutes gone. It's with the throw in. Does well there, back to Doff there, and there's Saggers running onto the ball again, holding it up, crossing it in nicely, and there's Wilkins with the head. Seventh goal of the season for him, it's 4-1. Tumor Fat at the back there, flea balls. Pushing it through there, finding the boy that can't be named, easily beats the keeper, 5-1. No dramas whatsoever, this is 12th goal of the season. So some handy goals just before half time. Interesting goal there. Peter Watson gets the goal, but some very ordinary defence there. There's Wilkins pushing the ball through, and uh, it is easily scored there by Pierce Doff. That's his hat trick for the game. 21 goals for the season already. And there's Bolger there holding the ball up, pushing it through to Shen. Shen crossing it in, and there is Doff for number four for today. And they have gone to a 7-2 lead with five minutes of regular time to go. And that's how the game finished. Just look at some of the other results there. Adelaide River managed to get a draw though, but they are still in that relegation zone. Port Darwin only had a draw as well. And we're still waiting for Mars Bar and FK Great to have their games of the round. And it is time for the rival game. We're going to play Adelaide River at their home ground. You'll notice their side looks a lot different this year. Obviously... The great George Fakakakis is no longer with them, but they still have some good players from last year. Eric Babbock was quite a good player for them, and he's actually their captain. We've brought Robin Banks in for wet farts this round, and it's also good to see Cleveland Steamer on the bench there, so you never know, we might see some impact play from him later on in the game. And it's Fleeballs with the ball there to Giorgio, and there's Boyd crossing it in there, and it is Barton crossing it in nicely, and Wilkins with the head, eighth goal of the season for him and I think that's about the third goal in a row we've seen of him off the head and we're looking at the penalty taker boy here putting it in the net without a problem so 2-0 after 36 minutes and it's Shen with the ball putting it forward there looking for another goal before half time but it looks like we have skinny jihad being talked to for the ref and he's been shown a second yellow so he's off 
Second half now as we go in. And there's Fleabaugh's putting the ball through to Shen, crossing it in and putting it in the net. In fact, I thought he was going to cross that, but he's got the ball in. So Adelaide really going to struggle with only 10 men there. Goalkeeper pushed it out from the back, going route one there. Finds Babok, and Babok scores a pretty good goal there. So 3-1, he's only his fourth goal of the year. Probably a sign of where Adelaide are currently sitting on the table. Anyway, goal trickle from the back. Wilkins looking for... Uh, nicked off there, and he's got nicked off easily. Nicked off only his second goal of the year, but it's 4-1 in the 67th minute. And there's Shen putting the ball through, and there's the boy. Uh, cross it is it in, but uh, he's defended quite well there, but they can't quite clear it. Goes back to Banks. Banks crosses it in nicely, and it's Cleveland Steamer. We announced him just before the game. 5-1, 89th minute. And he's fishing with the ball now, just before full time, holding the ball up, putting it through route one, right down the middle, and there's Boy, uncontested, chips it over the keeper's head effortlessly, his 16th goal of the season, and it's 6-1, and Giorgio, we're still in injury time here, but Giorgio puts it through to Shen, crosses it in, and it is the boy that can't be named, with goal number 17 of the season, and 7-1, and that is how that game finished up, 7-1, so unfortunately Adelaide dead last now, we put a, a huge nail in their coffin today, with that six goal difference there. In other news, Port Darwin uh, have gone on their winning ways there, a close game against FK Biograd, um, and they're a team not to be uh, trifled with, so they've actually done quite well there, and Mars Bar Sugar, a very, very close 5-4 win there. Looks like uh, Seaford actually had a big run at them late in the game. And just a bit of news from the football world. Melbourne Victory have lost Dick Splash through injury. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. A broken leg is going to keep him out for quite some time. Just the five appearances for Melbourne Victory at the moment. Look at those goals for Hunt to do, though. 69 goals and 36 appearances. What a champion. And in good news for the club, the new stadium revamp is almost complete. And we're certainly looking forward to getting in there. So can't really wait. Hopefully that'll bring our attendances up a little bit as well. And looking at our side to take on Hellenic Athletic Club. Baranowskis is actually starting today. Be good to see how the boy goes. And also both Nick and Pierced off up the front playing together. And it's actually Hellenic on the attack there. West crosses it over there. But it's actually cleared quite nicely there. There is Nick off there passing it to his brother. And his brother passes it definitely to Wilkins, who gets the first goal of the year. It is 1-0, his ninth goal of the season after 23 minutes. Bart's with the corner now. Crosses it in there, and it is Truma Fat getting up there. Only his second goal of the year, but an important one, just giving that 2-0 buffer. And there's flea balls, and Wilkins pushing it through there. There's Nick Doff there, and he gets his third goal of the season. It's 3-0 now. The boys are really humming. In the second half now, there's Goldschmeckel pushing it through there. There's Farts crossing it in there, and Doff gets around the keeper easily. 23rd goal of the season, 4-0 in the 50th minute. And Hellenic on the attack now. Dixon trying to get out of his own half. There's Frog Spirit pushing it through there. And there's a cross in there, and Miembo has got the goal back for Hellenic. So they are three down now, but it's Doff there, and... It is Defino there and pushing it through there. And Niembo again looking for number two. Gets the goal nice and easily there. Beats Fisher quite well. It is 4 2, although it looks like that's been disallowed. So Wilkins on the attack holds it up there for Giorgio. Giorgio gives it back to Shen and that goes to Scammer and then Barton volleys that in. Second goal of the season for him. It is 5-1, and that is how that game finished, 5-1. And great to see Adelaide River have a 2-1 win. So they are second last now, and unfortunately for Hellenic, we've actually put them on the bottom of the table there. Good signs for Adelaide River, because Border Town are a little bit above them. In other games, BA Grad have won their game, and they've actually leapfrogged Mars Bar Sugar, although there is a game in hand there. Port Darwin only had another draw. They had a draw last game too, so they're just stalling 
a little bit. And Seaford Rangers, who were in that entertaining game with uh, Mars Bar Sugar the other day, have had a normal draw with Adelaide Galaxy. So they'll be a little bit disappointed with that, although they're both equal on points and their goal differences are exactly the same too. As we look at the lineup for the Mindal Aces game, and the boy that can't be named is back as captain, and we've also got Simbuki on the left. He's coming back from injury, I believe. And it's Giorgio with the corner now, crossing it in there, and it is a great goal from the boy that can't be named, heading goal of the season for him, and it's 1-0. Holding the ball up, trying to run that clock down. It's been a very torrid game. In fact, it was pretty close to being the match of the round, or the match of the episode. But it is actually Mindel on the attack there. They've actually equalized. Kevin Wafula gets the goal. There is one minute of injury time left. It is 1-1, and that is how it stayed. So first draw of the season for the boys. They'll be very disappointed with that. As you can see there, all of that, all green here, except for this one game here. Very disappointing, but unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So thankfully, Boy was able to get the goal there. And Bannerman returns as captain for the Tiwi Islands game. Also good to see Gollum Sagas having another run. And also we've got Lucky Bolger on the bench there. We've seen him a few times, but not really prominent. So it's Goldschmeckel up the back. Just dribbling it forward under no real pressure there. Pushed it through the scammer there. And there's the boy that can't be named. Rounding the keeper, putting the ball in the net. It is 1-0 after 35 seconds. Great goal there. Well done. And it's Goldschmeckel again. And there's Wilkins running onto the ball, putting the ball effortlessly in. So two goals in under two minutes. The boys are on fire. Bannerman with the throw. Eight minutes in. And there's Shen crossing it in there. And he finds the boy with his 20th goal of the season. 3-0. And the two Lee Islands have been shell shot at the beginning of this game. Three minutes in there. And there's Bannerman going for a bit of a run there. Finds Boy. Boy looking to cross it in there, and there is pierced off with the goal. 24 goals for him. So our two strikers are going neck and neck there. There's Bannerman pushing it forward now. And there's Shen with a bit of an injury there, and then Boy crosses it in to Doff. Doff with goal 25, 5-0. And we're in the second half now. So Chuma Fat pushing it forward there. There's Farts there. Going for quite a nice long run there. Tries to thread the needle there. But he actually has regained the ball there. There's Scammer crossing it to Sagas, and there's Doff again. 26th goal of the game, and also his hat trick. Great pull from Sagas though. And Boy on the on the move there, and he has beaten the keeper senseless there. Seven 0 60 minutes gone. And there's Upac putting it back there to Scammer. Upac again holding the ball up, pushing it forward. Finds Boy. Boy puts the ball in easily. 22nd goal, 8 0. Well, this score could be anything, but that's all it was. 8 0 to finish the game. And FK Beograd have actually moved into second place there with a close 1 0 win over Mindel Aces. Remembering that Mindel Aces were the team that we drew with last game. So, yeah, good result for them. Unfortunately, Adelaide River have gone down to Dundee 2-0 there. Mars Bar Sugar are third with a close fought 1-0 win over Wyala Wanderers. Their Port Darwin dropping down due to their loss to Seaford Rangers 2-0. And it is Alexander Fisher who wears the armband today because we have the Doff brothers up front. Uh, Nick Doff and Pierce Doff. Great to see them both playing together. And it is Giorgio at the back there. Passing it to Upac there, who puts it forward there. Um, it's intercepted there by Casuarina there, and there on the board there, 1-0. Braden McLennan scores the goal in the seventh minute. So how do you do down, 1-0. There's Casuarina on the attack again. There's McLennan again, the goal scorer from before. But Wilkins has the ball now. And Nickdoff holds it up for his brother, Pierce, and Pierce puts the ball away. It is 1-1. After 10 minutes, Farts with the corner now, crosses it in, and Doff with the second goal there, 26th, or 28th of the season, should I say, 2-1 in the 15th minute, so a good comeback there, Chuma Fat putting it forward there, Scammer there, and then it's gone to Wilkins, who has hit the bar, but then Nick Doff puts the ball in the net, so 3-1, three, three unanswered goals now, and Hunter do on fire. And it's Wilkins now. And it is Barton with the fourth goal. So after a nervous start, the Humpty Doo boys are really firing now. And we 
Cross it in there again, and there's Doftu, Lucky Bulger, his third goal of the season, and it's 5-1 in the 69th minute, and that's the way it stayed. Very, very good and solid performance there by the boys, 5-1. Really pleasing to see Adelaide River have such a commanding win there too, 4-1 over Mindel Aces, and that's actually put them above them in the relegation zone, but they are equal on points with Casuarina, and, and we probably did them a few favours there because we knocked their goal difference around a little bit as well. FK Beograd are still in second. They had a 1-1 draw with Mars Bar Sugar. Port Darwin have just dropped down a little bit of late, having a 1-1 draw there as well. As we head to the match of the day, and it is our Tim Kale FFA Cup match against Armadale SC. Waiting for the boys to warm up now. And we're kicking off with Boy with wearing the armband today, and unfortunately, Sim Bookie's gone down injured very, very early on. That is going to cause a few problems to the lineup there. And Robin Max is going to come on there. Not his position, but we don't really have anyone really that can play on the left there. So Robin Banks on there. Not a lot happening there at the moment. It's 2 1 with the shots. Two. There's Jacobs there with the ball. Armadale is Perkins running the ball around. Been harassed a little bit by Flea Balls, and Flea Balls is able to get the ball back, which is very good. He puts it forward now, finds Wilkins, and Wilkins finds Boy with a beautiful ball there, and it's 1 0. Boy's 14th goal of the year, 22 minutes in, but very, very handy goal. Remember, when we're playing away today, too, so always good to get on the board when you're playing away. You want to silence those home fans. But it's still only three shots to two, so it's a very tight game. Uh, we're doing a little bit better on XG, but not a lot of highlights in this half as of yet. And there's farts there with the throw, and there's flea balls, and it's been dispossessed by the defender, and they, uh, Armadale go on the attack there, although farts is going to get back there and clean up the mess. There is Shuma Fat now pushing it forward. They're trying to find Banks, but Banks a little bit out of position today, so we'll just see how he goes. It looks like Jacobs has the ball for Armadale, and they're looking for a goal, and oh, that was a bad miss, actually. They've hit the post, but they're still on the attack here. Four shots each, but we are just pipping them on XG at the moment as we head into halftime. 1-0 to the boys. And we have a free kick to be taken by Doff now. And Doff curls it in, but it, it goes harmlessly away from the goal there. So 50 minutes in, it's still 1-0 to Humpty Do there. And there's Petrie there for Armadale on the attack. Push the ball forward there. And it is well defended on the line there by the boys. Not too bad at all. 55 minutes in now. Uh, Armadale have actually taken the lead in XG and shots on goal, although their shots on target is not too good. There's Banks there being dispossessed there. And Wilkins with the ball now, puts it forward there, and it is taken by the keeper without any problems whatsoever. So 63 minutes in, still 1-0, very, very tight game. Could go anybody's way, this one. They've tried to go route one there, but Fisher's done well to uh, get rid of the threat really quickly there. There's Wilkins to Shen. And there's Shen kicking it through there. There's Wilkins again, can he beat the keeper? He's rounding the keeper, and it's well defended there. What a great job by their defender there, and they've actually got the ball back now. So Armadale on the attack, although Fleeballs does pretty well there. So it's time to make some subs just to try and get some impact into the game. So Banks is going to take wet farts off, so he's going to be back in his normal position, which will be a lot better for him. And then Scammer comes on for Shen, and Tossa Kokoff is actually going to play in that center left midfield role there. And we're back, 69 minutes in, it's nine shots apiece. We've got the better on target percentage there, and we have an extra that's slightly better as well. There's Giorgio there, Scammer, and it is Tosa Kokoff now with the ball. And he's going to be looking for Doff or one of the other strikers in there. There's Flea Balls there, and it is headed, and the people have no idea about that one, but it hit the bar and, and fell into his hands without it too much problems. There's Fisher playing it out from the back now. Truma Fat with the ball there. And there's Banks to toss a cock off. Now toss a cock off, puts it through to Wilkins. Wilkins trying to find Boyd, but he can't. 
and Armadale have the ball there, although Giorgio has dispossessed them. Uh, but it's a bit backwards and forwards at the moment. But Tuma Fats back there in defence nicely, and there's Fisher pushing the ball forward, trying to fly pierced off there, but Wilkins has the ball instead. Armadale push it forward. Armadale with the ball again, and it is Jacobs dispossessed there, and they have a good shot there. Just clears the bar, but it wasn't a bad shot at all. 84 minutes in, Giorgio with the corner, crosses it in there, and boy, just heads it wide. Just can't get that second goal just to give us a bit of breathing space. Although the XG is clearing out a little bit there. 1.23 as to 0.51 as we're in an injury time now. And Scam has actually been dispossessed there. So Armadale on the attack trying to get the goal. And actually Fisher's done a great save there to keep it 1-0 in our favour. So Fisher holding up the ball, trying to waste a bit of time. They push the ball right down the guts. And there's Wilkins with the head, but that's not going to do anything. Okay, well done, boys. A very good win, 1-0. That is uh, going to take us into the next round, which is great. And just looking at the draw for the next round, and we have got Bulls FC Academy in the next round of the Tim Kale FFA Cup. Well, that will do us for today. Thanks so much for joining us. My apologies once again for the delay, and to be honest, there's going to be a few more down the track. I've just got a lot going on at the moment, but really appreciate you guys watching and staying to the end. And if this is your first time here, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Cheers.